And at that time, you guys were still a B2C company, right? Yeah, yeah. But like one of these guys, which was Samir Gandhi, uh, who is a partner in, in Axel, at Axel. Um, this guy, mm -hmm. uh, he was the one that told us, go and sell. Like our core was processing data through, uh, through algorithms, machine learning algorithms, in order to recommend the best products. And Samir at, at, at Axel, he told me like, dude, like, there is no way to invest in your company, but I think this has a lot of value to some of the companies of my portfolio. But given that my compass and I'm not gonna buy it from you because you're a rookie, go and sell to, other, to another company and come back. Two months later, we closed an amazing deal. We closed a, like an amazing deal uh, with one of our investors related companies. And we closed the deal and we became profitable. We had like, Samir, thank you. you know? <laughs> but, uh, that's great. As, as a B2B company. Yeah, as a B2B company. Like license, okay, so then licensing the algorithms to these companies. You know, instead of, of using this technology to recommend products in the B2C space, we used the same technology and applied it to analyze companies' data and recommend the best products. You know? oh, I see. And is, are they still a customer? Yeah, they are. That's great. What, what was the first, who is the first Fligo? B2B to, B to B All scripts. It's a health tech company based in Chicago, which licenses a software to most of hospitals and clinics and everything. Uh, All scripts. They that's literally a, that's amazing. Fake. You went from a B to C uh, publishing company to a B two B data science uh, business, and um, when you've closed that contract. Did you feel like, all right, now I need to become a B2B founder. The whole thing has changed. It all makes sense to me. This is what we're doing. Because how was that you know, transition in your mind? For me, it was really hard. Because uh, I still have like the B2C thing inside of me. You know, I want to build a product that's used by millions of users every single day in a, on a daily basis. But uh, in my priorities, Fligo being successful is the number one, no matter what, you know. Uh, but we had to be, become a B2B company in two weeks. And that's a different game. Yeah. Well, it's a different game. I think what mark do you want to be, right? Zuckerberg or Benioff? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I know. Today? Are those the only two options? No, I like, I know, but like, uh, today, Benio for sure, you know? Um, yeah. When I... No, no, I mean, I think it's, you have the privilege of being Lucas today, which I think it's, it's you know, it's probably better uh, in many ways uh, for in you. 2000, yeah, but in 2013, I wanted to be the next Mark Zuckerberg. I wanted to be that, like, um, I wanted to reject offers from corporations, you know, like kid it or how even did, you know? Uh, but now, dude, like, I want to be the venue. I want to disrupt an industry. I want, like, the CEOs. Like, whenever a CEO has, has to think about, like, put, like, implementing new technology to their processes, now it's machine learning and AI. In five years, it will be a, it will be a different thing. Like, think about Flickr, you know? That Fortune 500 CEOs. Those, that that's where I want to be. You know? Yeah. I mean, let like we will go through the middle of the story, but fast forward today. Name some of your customers. Oh, like I would like Broadridge, Scotiabank, Practice Fusion, Burger King, Coca Cola, all these global companies. You know, like um, Citera. I don't know First Republic Bank, like huge companies around the world. Uh, they're using our software, uh, our products. Uh, in, in Brazil, we have Itaú, B2W, Global, uh, Igon Insurance globally, uh, Mag Insurance in Brazil. So it's like, I'm happy, you know? <laughs> but like, I want to <laughs> grow more and more every day. Yes, of course. And then over time, though, 
Um, you, um, you guys were still in San Francisco. You pivoted, and then um, did you you raise more money or like in total? How much have you raised so far? Now, like nine mil, nine million. Nine million. But nine million. Okay. At the moment, we we stopped racing. We became profitable. Our margins were amazing. Uh, we began racing again in order to buy out some previous investors. That's how we began racing again. 